today we are changing fuel filters. This boat has more fuel filters than any uh, small boat I've ever seen, so you'll get to see all kinds of different fuel filter changes. We have a uh, Raycor water separator fuel filter, um, and most of those are similar, so you'll get to see that. There's an inline Westerbeek filter, and then there's a mounted in the engine filter, and we're going to uh, change all three filters today. And uh, we're lucky this engine is basically self-bleeding. Um, so once we have them all changed, we'll be able to turn the key, the fuel pump will pump fuel through, bleed itself, and then it'll start and we'll be happy. Mm, a lot of engines, you have to bleed it. But uh, the fuel filter changing part is the fuel filter changing part. So we're going to uh, change fuel filters today. The first thing, you didn't get to see it because the uh, I do a lot of projects and forget to film them, and Mighty jumped on this one before I had a chance to screw it up. Uh, you want to have a, uh, a bucket that, uh, or some kind of a container to catch the dripping fuel so that it doesn't go into the bilge. So we just cut the top off of a uh, one gallon water, water jug. Clean it out really well, that way there's a chance you uh, can reuse some of the fuel in a later step. Uh, if you leave water and garbage in there, then it's not so useful. And uh, that's it. So I'm uh, going to set this down, go upside down, and uh, start pulling this stuff apart. Okay, so this is the filter that I was holding in your first scene. This is the replacement cartridge. That was the replacement cartridge for this fuel filter. So what we're going to do is just wrap the uh, regular oil filter wrench around it. And... Uh, Twist it off. And now that that's loose, we'll get this thing out of here so it's not in the way. Make sure our jug is up high enough to catch it. And I'm gonna back up here. And we're cheating. which you can't see. All right, so now we have this thing out. Oop, one second. And um, it was draining on me. So you couldn't see it before, but this is the drain. So we had a bucket underneath. This part here is the drain. And we had a bucket underneath it. And when I open this up, it drains the filter out and lets the filter breathe, takes the pressure off of it. Uh, and you couldn't see it, so I'm showing you out here. That's when the uh, oil filter wrench goes on this and we spin this whole thing off. Um, the next step is we're going to spin, this is the water separator section. We'll spin that off. This whole section gets thrown away and replaced. You should carry a few extras. And uh, the whole thing needs to be cleaned out. This is a classic, amazing, you never want it to be like this. This is the yucky stuff that that's just rust and schlung and disgustingness. And the uh, boatyard that this came out of told the boat owner that they changed all the fuel filters and did all kinds of stuff. And I only have one allergy in boat repair. I'm allergic to... Oh, shit! <clears throat> Sorry. And uh, so that would be I have a little allergy with that boatyard. So um, I'm going to pull this next part apart here. Sometimes we get lucky. Oh yeah, we got lucky. And uh, you're going to get to see what disgusting nastiness is all about. So that comes apart easy. And you can see the water that was captured in the water uh, trap the water filter and the disgusting schlung guy that was growing in it so that is when you wonder what's growing in your diesel fuel that's what's growing in your diesel fuel so uh, this is a rare opportunity to see just about everything that you're not supposed to see so by the way if you don't see this good for you uh, but this is how you do the changing part. So I'm going to get rid of all this disgustingness and you don't need to see how that happens. It's just disgustingness. 
and then we'll uh, get back to work. I'll show you how to clean it all up and put it all back together. All right, so here you can see our uh, disgustingness. That is uh, the slime that grows in diesel, surrounded by the water that the overwhelmed water separator had separated, and a tiny little bit of diesel fuel that somehow managed to stay in the diesel fuel filter. So uh, you got to see how this was full of uh, water and mushroom and all of that disgustingness. Now you just clean it out. Anything you leave, uh, leaves seeds, basically. It's not actually a seed, but the concept is the same. Leaves a seed to help more of that uh, diesel slime grow. So you wanna get rid of uh, as much of this stuff as you can. Smart people uh, wear gloves, but the, uh, if you don't do it for a living, like I do, wait a minute, I'm supposed to be wearing gloves. But anyway, it, uh, I don't do uh, engine work very often, so that's that. So we make sure this is clean, get all the last little bits of stuff out, and then we will, uh, it's going to be hard, our engine compartment is very small, but you saw where the canister screwed up into the, uh, the actual housing of the filter. You want to get up in there and clean that as well, you can sort of see some of the dirt that we're cleaning. You want to wipe up in there, make sure that any uh, last disgustingness is out of there. There shouldn't, you're going to have a fuel inside. That could have some disgusting. You want to try to avoid wiping that across into the fuel heading to the engine part of it. Uh, you should have cleanliness on the after the filter section. We'll see what we have here. But uh, that's it. And so I'm just going to go upside down and clean you camera won't be able to see anything and then we'll fire up again I'll show you how to put all this stuff together there's a little bit of lubricating that you do put all this stuff back together we're gonna pour some uh, fresh diesel fuel into it to make it easier to do the bleeding process and then go on to the next filter which Vitae, uh, oh, hail to Vitae. we'll decide whether that should be the same video or a new one so uh, either way see you in what for you will be fractions of a second All right, so we have uh, pulled everything apart on our Raycor filter. We've cleaned everything uh, pretty darn well, actually. And now we are putting things back together. So I have a little bit of motor oil. We're going to uh, lightly lubricate our O-ring. Because it's going to drop in here and then seat against the new filter. Like so. And it's just hand tight, you're not going crazy. And uh, if you remember the beginning of the video, it, at this point, it is a totally different animal. Uh, we may or may not video it, but at this point you get clean and you may want to make sure it's clean. Uh, so be very careful if you're reusing any of the stuff that you poured out. We won't be able to use any of our old stuff. But uh, you just pour right down the center, uh, fill this thing up until it's full of diesel fuel, reach back under and screw it on. And that, uh, that's the end of this. That's uh, all you do with this one. Uh, just remember it's kind of tricky this thing when it's screwed out is uh, Closed where it's not leaking when it's screwed in it's open where it is leaking So Sometimes you forget that so you just want to make sure that that's screwed out uh, So it, as you pour diesel fuel in it doesn't pour back out and uh, That's it Everything will be a lot better. So it, uh, We'll see if you see another uh, chapter after this if I have decided to keep going if you don't, the uh, other two types of filters that we're doing will be in other videos.